Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the count tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the count tool is to count the number of items in an image in Photoshop. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, Open to open a file from, from your hard drive, or File, New to open a new file. I'm using this file here, a picture of some gumballs. To find the tool, go to Window, Tools to open up the Tools palette, or the Tools window. It's located third from the top on the right, and it may be hiding behind the eyedropper tool, the color sampler tool, the ruler tool, the note tool, but it's right at the bottom here, the count tool. If it's hiding behind any of these, simply left click and hold down, you will see this menu appear and select the count tool. You will see the keyboard sh shortcut for the count tool is I, meaning if we're using another tool and we want to use the count tool, simply by hitting the letter I on my keyboard, we are taken back to the count tool. This is how it works. Say I want to count the number of blue gumballs in this picture. I can click here and you will see it creates a number and there's also a small point that we can't see because it's not uh, big enough but we can make that uh, small point that's selected called the marker bigger by going to marker size and clicking and moving to the right to make that marker bigger and now we can see it. We can also make that number bigger by changing the label size. We can continue counting our gumballs. There's another one here. You will see that one's number two. There's number three. There's number four and so on and so on. We can also change the color of our markers by clicking there and changing the color say to a bright yellow so we can recognize it. We can clear it or get rid of all the markers by clicking clear. We can also uh, create a different group. What that means is we can select different items. Say you want to count the yellow gumballs in the picture. We would go up here to the thing that looks like a folder and click on it to create a new count group you will see it asks us for a name and we'll put in yellow gumballs and press OK and now you can see I'm I've selected yellow gumballs here you can see we still have count group 1 which is the blue gumballs select this and we can now click on the yellow gumballs in the picture you will see it starts from one again and we can change the color of these ones and you will see they were, will change independently of the blue group if we want to see the or edit the blue ones go back to count group one we can change the name of, the, of that to blue gumballs very easily by going down to rename Whoops. Make sure uh, you select count group one and then go to rename and then select blue gumballs. Like that and press OK. Now you will see the count over here also displays the total number. Um, the eight is the total number altogether. The yellow and blue gumballs, we have eight. We just have four blue gumballs. The number it shows in the brackets is what you have selected currently. You will see if we go to yellow gumballs, of course it's also four. If we uh, create some more points though, you will see that number increases and you will see we now have ten points for the yellow gumballs and only four counts for the blue gumballs. So that's the count tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.